your Facebook feed full of updates, pictures, suggested articles, and quizzes. Plenty of what's often called clickbait. Ever heard of it? Five on your side's Monica La Liberty is here now to explain why we all need to know what it is and how it puts privacy at risk. Clickbait is anything created to lure you to a website, a sassy headline, those fun quizzes. Most people click rarely thinking about fallout, or maybe you don't click, so no worries, right? Well, think again, because we found out even what your friends do on Facebook could create consequences for you. What type of weather is your anger? Walking dead trivia. Which cocktail are you? The articles and quizzes can be hard to resist, but harmless, not necessarily. But it seemed coincidental that I filled out too when all of a sudden I'm hacked. Kathy Sorber thought her privacy settings were pretty secure, but after having some fun with quizzes, she heard from friends. That they got a request for a second uh, friend request for Facebook with my picture and my information. So it was an exact duplicate. I was like, what the heck is going on? That's just crazy. This Facebook user wonders what's going on. When she took a quiz, it appeared friends commented on the results, but the friends say they did not. There usually is a purpose behind some of these quizzes. Richard Beaver is Duke University's Chief Information Security Officer. In one line, why don't you do quizzes? I don't trust how my information is used. Cyber experts warn in one scam making the rounds right now, thieves use clickbait to hijack your account and send new friend requests for a fake account, like what happened to Kathy. Then they pose as your friend and ask for money or lure you to another website where you might share personal information. Scammers also use quizzes to trick you into downloading malware. At a minimum, Fever says the quizzes usually allow third-party links full access to your account. You grant permission in those often unread privacy policies. Almost all of the apps we check have access to your public profile, friend list, email address, timeline posts, and photos. That's a lot of information. That's a lot of information to take a quiz. Feel okay about that? Access often extends to friends, so even if you aren't playing along with the games and quizzes, if you're connected with someone who is, your information is also up for grabs. It would be as if you just made the quiz your friend. So whatever settings you have as friend of a friend, the application owners and the authors have access to that. So what can you do to end that access? whether you're on a desktop, your phone, or a tablet, you want to go into your account settings and then apps. Experts say the most important change you can make involves apps others use. Those are what allow third-party sites to see your information through friends. So disable them. And by the way, on a desktop, you'll need to go through and unclick individual boxes. Then go back and click ads. They're what's tracking you. So again, if you don't want that, switch those to no and no one. It's amazing how much they can find out just from Facebook. Now, Kathy clears her apps and ads every few weeks. I try and protect myself as much as I can. Do I lose sleep over it? No. Do I try and be cognizant of what's there? Yes. And I think that's all you can do. Now, Facebook's privacy policy is clear. Your info and activities are collected and shared. The main takeaway here to be aware of is that if you don't want to have all that access, you make, have to make sure and lock down your privacy settings. And I know a lot of that was probably difficult for some people to follow through there. You know, all those steps you have to take, I wanna let you know, we do have that with our story on WRL.com. Obviously, this is out there because companies want access to this. You're gonna let us know why, aren't you? Yes, we're gonna have that coming up at six o'clock. Take a look at this video right here, because look how crazy that looks, right? Well, at six o'clock, I'll show you what this has to do with every move we make online it made my jaw drop and i'm serious about that it's kind of like oh my gosh plus how you can easily map your internet actions and 